could wear the mask. So I am your father. This is the way. Such a Alright guys, what's going on? It is Tuesday morning. This is going to be a very impromptu hunt video that was not even anticipated as I was just going to sit here at home and relax or go down to the beach and just chill. But we're heading back to the 305 um, right here in front of us. This was last night's pickups. I did not record because I was not expecting to find anything as there's been nothing to find for almost two weeks. But I found... These three that I wanted from Series 83, yes, I did find all of them, but I had no interest in Drew McIntyre and no interest in Baron Corbin. Uh, yeah, that was pretty much the two I had no interest in, so I got the three that I wanted. I did see a second edge, and that'll probably be the last time I see it. But, like I said, we're heading over to the 305 Miami. We're going over to Tate's for a special edition pickup. And you guys will find out what it is when we get there. So, let's get in the truck and get the driving across the alley. Alright guys, as you can tell, it is 10.54. And you're wondering what we're doing down in the 305. And this is exactly what we're doing in the 305. We're at the world famous Tate's. Something special came in and we're here to pick it up when they open. Because I talked to the... Uh, I'm assuming they're the owners or the main managers, and they put one on hold for me. So let's go inside and see what it was that I'm coming to pick up. All right, guys. So we are here at Tate's, and yeah, I'm here to pick up this big boy. They just got him in stock last night. Just drove two hours over, and he's coming home today. And I'm trying to use self-control because they have the 40th anniversary Boba Fett as well. I'm trying to get it with no glare. There we go. Oh, so tempting. And then we still got Princess Leia down here, which I'm still contemplating on this one. I don't know. But she looked pretty freaking good. But anywho, we got ourselves a heavy Mando at retail. But, but, Boba, 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 Boba. The fence is real. So. I'm about to go back up to the front, go ahead and check my merchandise, pay for it, and on to the next store. Because I don't think there's anything else that I want here at Tate's. So, this is exciting. Got a heavy Mando. So, let's go check it out. Alright, so we just picked up the heavy Mando. Happy, happy about that one. Got it at retail brand spanking new in the box so to continue this east coast hunt in the mia sunrise florida we're heading into you guessed it a super target to see if we can find some pieces for uh mr jxp2's um shang chi wave or the turtle four pack or the turtle four pack uh i know what you got sideline that's gonna be coming from seth what's popping check his page out mce uh, big thanks. Thank you, man, for getting that for us. So, let's go inside and see what we can find. Checking out the clearance. I think these are pretty cool. This is, like, the second time I've honestly seen these. Like, people have been saying they've been out for a while, but I cannot find them anywhere. So, I got Tila last time we were here at this particular Target, and now I have a Battle Cat. So, that's going to be pretty freaking cool. So, I still don't know where they put them at, but they ring up around, like, $6, so... Go ahead and hit this toy out and see what we can find. Okay, so wrestlers. Drew McIntyre. John Cena. Real. Baylor, nothing new. We got Hunter and Crosshair, which I have both of them. And if he had actually watched Bad Batch, he'd probably be grabbing those two right now. I probably they, might have to just in case. I would just grab them because you never know who else is in this store. Uh, let's see. Shang-Chi. It's the same stock from a week ago. 
disappointment. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so like I said, we got Xiling from our good friend. What's popping? Batman. Honestly, I feel this is one that people are sleeping on. This is the McFarlane version of Batman. Packed ton of detail. I actually like this one. I, I got one. He's still in the box. But uh, just a FYI, check your Walmarts out because the price at Walmart is about $4 cheaper. I think they're $15.88. So if you guys are into the Batmans like I am, there's my Batman right there. $15.88. Go pick, check them out. So, I think that's it over here on this side. So, let's go check out the NECA Funko section. Oh, wait. Unless you're into LeBron James. Brown, brown. Okay, and here we are in the NECA Funko section with aspirations of turtle four packs. And turtles are oblivious. Completely. Halloween, Batman, or... Yeah. Batman over there, uh, Gremlins, Friday the 13th, King Kong, Chucky, the same old, same old NECA packs that everybody's pretty much sick of. We need something new for NECA. Yeah, even uh, Funko. I do my hardest to stay away from those because they were just definitely an impulse buy. There's nothing really enjoyable about having a stack of boxes. So that's why the ones I did keep for myself were still in the box. So I don't know. I might eventually just go ahead and sell them. We'll see. So I think this is going to conclude the video because Bits and Buttons, I believe, is closed today. I think they're closed Monday, Tuesday. And I don't really know if there's anywhere else we want to check out. So if there is something else we want to check out, you'll know within the next 10 seconds. So until then, stay retro. Okay, so my boy here, he's having a hot toy it. So we're here at Past, Present, Future Comics down here in Miami uh, to see what they have. We were here, what, about four or five months ago? Yeah. Uh, I don't think we really picked anything up. Maybe um, Fallen Down did, but I can't remember. He got a legend. But uh, old boy's feeling the itch, so we're going to check and see what they have. The last time we were at Pat's present future comics is for the Lou Ferrigno signing, so let's see what we can find today. Okay, so we just left uh, past present future. This location is a lot tighter than their West Palm Beach location, so I did not record inside. Plus, the guy, store manager, owner, whoever he was, he just really made you not feel too welcomed in there, how he just like washed you like a hawk, so. I didn't record, and his prices were like way overpriced, so that's going to go ahead and conclude this hunt. We got our heavy Mando, so I'm happy with that, and it's time to head back to the West Coast, which is the best coast. Stay retro. I mean.